Hi everyone, hope everyone's been blessed and highly favored. I know I am so, 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 so late and I'm so, so sorry about that. Anyhow, so hubby and I went to the IVF education class. On that day, we also had our IVF fertility workups done. I had a saline ultrasound and let me tell you, I'm not gonna say it was like painful hurt, but it was like your worst cramps imaginable. It was like that kind of pain. It was like, oh my gosh, where's my ibuprofen? Like it hurt, like seriously, to me anyhow. So my husband had to provide sperm and um, they um, took his sperm. Um, they did the sperm count and they also freezed a lot of his sperm, you know, as well. Um, here's a little folder that they gave us for the IVF educational class. And it's so cute. Anyhow, so. Okay, to go over costs. Now, um, with my part of the the uh, testing or whatever, mine goes under the billing for specialists. So my copay was $50. However, my husband, they don't accept insurance for like sperm, semen analysis and all of this stuff. So what he had to do was basically get the procedure done. Then he had to get the itemized statement for the insurance company and he has to submit a claim so um, he can get some of it back. I don't know if it's going to be all of it or whatever. You know, hubby and I are both state employees of the state of Virginia. So we both have state anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield. So waiting to see how that goes. But this is the cost of his semen analysis, my IVF workup, um, his... Um, sperm freeze plus our IVF educational class. So all together, this is what my husband coughed up. And if you can see that, that's $765. That's not even including any part of the IVF, like point blank period. So uh, my husband did all of that. And like I said, my copay was $50. And they also gave us this neat little IVF package that basically tells you all you want to know about IVF. And I can't wait. So what I have to do right now is wait for the first day of my next period, which unfortunately won't be until October 31st, Halloween. I'm ready to get it started now. I'm ready to put some babies out now. But anyhow, so I have to wait until Halloween, which is October 31st of this year. And um, then I have to give the, the clinic a call. And the doctor said something about me going on birth control for two weeks. Then, you know, I'm supposed to be doing stem medication and all of that for two weeks. Then they're going to do the retrieval. Then after that, I have to be on birth control again another two weeks. And then they're going to implant it either two or four weeks later. So I have to make sure I keep you guys updated. But again, this is all you ever wanted to know about IVF giving you information step-by-step step of our process, hoping that we can just learn and share from one another. Anyhow, um, I guess that concludes this video, and I hope to be updating you guys soon. Bye.